Okay, let's do some math for fun here with this question. It says, if cosine 3 x over cosine x is equal to 1 over 3 for sine x in between of 0 and pi over 2, then we're going to find out the value for sine of 3 x over sine x. Okay, as always, please pause the video and try this first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> How did you guys do this? And this question is pretty nice, de you know, designed it, right? You have the cosine, cosine, and the sine, sine. Um, but here we have 3x, namely we have a triple angle, so we should call out the triple angle identity. And let's play around with this one first, okay? So from here, let me write this down again. When we have cosine of 3x, this right here, right? Over cosine x. Of course, the angles are different. But because of the triple angle identity, we know this right here is equal to 4 cosine to a third power x and a minus 3 cosine x. And now the input is just with x, right? And then divide this by cosine x, right? And of course, we can split the fraction. And when we do that, this is just going to be cosine to a second power, right? And we have the 4 cosine second power x. And then minus this over that is just going to be minus 3, like that. And if you would like, okay, now we can just set this equal to 1 over 3, because originally this was equal to that. And now I can look at this and solve for cosine x. So of course, let's add 3 on both sides. And from here, we say 4 cosine square x equal to 1 over 3 plus 3 is just the same as plus 9 over 3, which is, you know, just 10 over 3, right? And then divide both sides by 4, we get cosine square x equal to, and you multiply both sides by 1 over 4. So cancel the, the 2, so it becomes a 5 on the top over 3 times that 2, which is 6. And then here we will take the square roots on both sides, plus minus, right? Well, cancel, cancel, and you see, we get cosine x equal to, okay now, because x is in between of 0 to pi over 2, namely the angle is in the first quadrant. Cosine during the first quadrant, we know it's positive. So we'll just take the positive version of a square root, okay? Because once again, x is in the first quadrant, that angle, right? And let me just leave it as how it is. And now, we know cosine x is equal to square root of 5 over 6, like this. I will just play around with a triple angle identity for the sine of 3x. And if you want to see how we come with the triple angle identities, you can check out my video. I will have the links to those videos in the description for you guys. But anyway, here we go. If you look at sine of 3x over sine x, on the top, by the triple angle identity, this is going to be, and by the way, it's pretty similar. Instead of positive 4, you will have minus 4, and this is sine, of course you end up with sine sub cosine, sine to the third power x, and then this is plus, right? earlier it was minus, but no, plus, 3 sine x, and then divided by sine x, and then once again we can split the fraction, this over that is just minus 4 sine square x, and this over that becomes plus 3, isn't it? Okay, I have sine squared x right here. I know cosine x is equal to that. So I will just make a quick conversion because we know sine squared x is the same as 1 minus cosine squared x, right? So this is negative 4 times 1 minus cosine squared x like this. And then you add the 3 after that. Oh, well, I guess I didn't have to take the square root earlier because it's just 5 over 3, right? Because cosine squared x is equal to 5 over 6. I mean, 5 over 6. So this right here is negative 4 times 1 minus cosine square x is just 5 over 6, okay? And then, of course, you can say this is plus 3 after that. And now, here is just a little word of operation business. 1 minus 5 over 6 is 1 over 6, and then times that is going to be, well, that's going to be negative 4 over 6, right? So you reduce that, becomes negative 2 over 3 plus 3, which is the same as negative 2 over 3 plus 9 over 3, which is going to be positive 7 over 3 in the end. And this right here is the answer for that. And with that, we are done.